Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward with me, Tiber. Anywho, let's continue, shall we? Indeed. Uh, Alpha. Alfie. It's Alfie! I should, probably should have cleared the logs and shit. Oh well. Doesn't Cleared matter. The logs. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna try and like clearing logs and stuff. Anyway, words can ill express how glad I am to see you all unharmed. When Omega came hurtling out, out towards the cocoon, everything dissolved into chaos. I mean, there was like tsunamis, and none of it was possible. But whatever. I have to see it. I have to see it with my own eyes. Oh, we're actually going to see, like, devastation? You die, I hope so. Wait, we must... <sighs> the Elder cool Seeds here is expecting us. Worry not, Afano. Go Tetsu... Go Setsu, and I will watch over her. You must safely You will... You may safely attend the meeting. My thanks, you, Gary. Or you, Gary. I think it was Yugiri that he said. Yugiri, yeah. Yeah, Yugiri. The council convened a short while ago. Let us make haste for the Lotus Stand. All are eager to hear your testimony. Splendid. Yeah, so things happened, and then bad things happened. And then mildly confusing things happen, and then a dragon flew away, which we we're gonna have to chase down and make not fly point. away. Yep. Oh, I thought it was just. I uh, thought it was just gonna teleport us right there. Nah. Nah. Yeah, that would that would have been the easy way. Also, I found out something quite recently. Uh, so you know how all the content right now has been kind of based off of the same uh, emotion, um, motions and stuff like that that you can do yourself? Uh-huh. Right? So, like, they'll have generic cheering and then the Rodegaran will be like, yeah, with waving both arms back up and down type thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's all because of the limitations of the PlayStation 3. They stopped supporting it at the end of the uh, place, uh, for Heaven, uh, for Stormblood. Ah, so for Stormblood, everything's good. Hmm. For Stormblood, mm. they're going to have, like, newer stuff. They will have a more technologically advanced type stuff. So what you're saying is you're excited because you're going to have more ways to dance. I'm excited because I'm going to see many, many more things that are actually going to be different and stuff. But anyway, that's beside the point. For now... Cutscene! Indeed. My friends, full air eager, uh, full eagerly, I have awaited your return. If you indeed have discharged their duty and trust, I've discharged the duty and trusted to you, and most humbly we do thank you for seeing it done. You're too kind, Elder Seeds. Here, as I recall, we as good as demanded the right to try. But tell me, how did the battle unfold? We succeeded in waking Omega Eye, but we lost contact with the weapon shortly after it launched. From our position in the control room, we were blind to all that followed. But words could do justice. <coughs> Pardon me? <coughs> Remember, she's also vaguely German. Yeah, no, I choked on my tongue. <clears throat> Professional! What words could do justice to such a scene? None of my choosing that much is set. I don't really know how to do a German accent. But I can give you the facts. The cocoon hatched even as Omega arrived, and from its midst rose a great dragon. The pair duly set about each other in the skies of Ogir Abadnia. The primals might be, uh, the brief to believe. Ah, bro. Defied? Defied. Defied! I am good at the English word writing Defied. and reading. The primals Defiance. might defied belief. It seemed the very heavens itself were rent asunder by the force of its blows, and it wielded such magics I have never seen, and I hope I never see again. The battle raged with no end in sight, till both combatants were engulfed upon a blinding light. When radiance faded, I saw the pair fall motionless from the sky, coming to rest somewhere in Alamegan soil. 
I will speak not for the rest, but mine eye, uh, it seemed to that each of them landed a fatal blow upon the other. Well, most among us, I uh, could only think of Bahamut when looking upon the primal's form. The Domans heard a whisper of the name Shanryu. Shunryu. It would appear that it represent, resembles the culture of the Far Eastern legend, and we have found it convenient uh, to refer to it as such. This Shunryu's fate, and indeed that of Omega, is yet unknown. We have alas no eyes in Gerabiana side of the border. Aye, which is why we have sent our main force, under the command of Marshal Tarupin, to capture the wall. With the Imperials in disarray, we have the perfect opportunity to secure Cardania's border and assess the aftermath of the impact. I myself will join the Marshal and his men when the Council is adjourned. Well, that explains a few things. Our way to that flash of light coincided with our loss of contact. Lest you wonder, we quickly re-engaged to make a stasis system, so even if it has fallen into the Empire's lap, it would be of no use to them, save perhaps as a statue. Correct. Without me to guide their efforts, it would take them decades to decipher Omega's core functions, if they managed it at all. Such reassurances do much to calm our fears, yet the Relic's fate is one of several concerns. Indeed. I humbly submit that in the time has come for us to make contact with the Resistance uh, representatives in uh, Girabanya. Through Illibird and his forces, though Illibird and his forces were, has forced our hand, it would seem only logical to seek an alliance given the inevitability of the for Imperial retaliation. And by working in consort, it is possible that Alamigo might finally be wrested from Gollumon's grip. <coughs> no, that time! Oh, Alphano, where are you? Uh... Okay. Hey. Hey, so short! He's even shorter! You must be exhausted. I would ordinarily suggest a retirement directly to the Rising Stones, but. Uh, f uh, but I wonder if making the first of a small. Blah! But I wonder if we may make first a small detour. He's stolen the others, I've gathered at. Amaraxi Spire, and I imagine that you too would be interesting to see what has become the wall now. The cocoon is gone. No. Then it is decided. Lead on. He, he says, says as he walks walk up away. before us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the far edge of fate. But no, they eventually, uh, what do you call? They eventually started ditching PSV. Uh, support because they actually held on to PS3 support due to the fact that they had promised it all the way back when the PS3 was a powerful machine. Uh huh. Uh, to be a game that came out on PS3, but alas, as you know, the software at that point was ancient and terrible. Well, it's not it's not bad software uh, hardware, but at the same point in time, it was ancient. it didn't have enough RAM, etc., etc., etc. So upon finally ditching it, they apparently managed to do quite a lot of funky stuff with it. That's all I know. Indeed. So they weren't held Did they launch a Realm Reborn hmm? on PS3? Yes. Ooh. That's the only reason why it came to PS3, is because they launched a Realm Reborn. Oh, so that was all part of their ad campaign, basically. Uh, no. My friends, Other things. I cannot well express how glad I am to see you both unharmed. They say that Omega's clash with the Primal shook the very firmament. You need not have worried. The battle took place far above the ground. We were able to observe in relative safety, though I'm given to understand that there were casualties on the far side of the wall. It was like watching a nightmare unfold oh, before yes, our very eyes. Ilbird's primal manifested in the form of a colossal dragon, a being of pure violence. It burst forth from the cocoon with such terrible force. That such a horror should spring from the eyes of Nidhogg comes as no surprise. Nor do I wonder at its form. 
Ilbert all but announced it in the moments prior to his death. Plainly, it was his dying wish to visit a second calamity upon the Empire. And I am quite certain the Abomination would have obliged had it not found itself outmatched by a Mega. Gods! I am no stranger to the works of Alag, but even I was unprepared for the machine's furiosity. It beckoned belief. You know you could have just used the word ferocity. Yeah. And how fares poor Ida in the midst of all this? Have you spoken with her? She is up on the platform, lost in thought. We deemed it best not to disturb her, but mayhap she would welcome some company after all. Shall we? We shall? We shall. Excellent, I skipped the part there, but uh, you can pause it. The light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Papalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time. Whoa, she was hiding all that under there? Yeah, I was about to say that. Hmm. Ida, there is no need to explain. It's a lot of hair. Yeah. Oh, dancer! But dancer! There is. I can't it is a dancer! I yeah. little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. Maybe not dancer, then? 20 <laughs> years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child. Not even five summers old. Hmm. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. But she was strong and kind. And always knew what to do. Mm. We were so excited. She was not the reality. Came, everything changed. My father went to war against them, too. And I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city of Charlien. That was where she met Master Louis Soir. He introduced her to the Circle of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Ida. Of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. <laughs> It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. Ida died six years ago, on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save a little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. Uh, ellipsis? Hmm. Basically just Lara speaking instead of, Why didn't you tell me? Sure. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lys. When Papa Limo brought me Eda's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but... I decided I wanted to be his new partner, to keep alive all the good that she had done. 
I didn't want to become Ida, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself. And it almost seemed easier to play the role. Papalimo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path. And those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it. So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as lease. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. War is upon us once more. Do you regret standing against the Empire? Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? To claim that I never doubted the decision would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east, for Doma. Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east, for Doma, for Doma, Doma. Oh. It was brave of Lise to remove her mask after so long. Though she scarce became, uh, begun to come to terms with Papalima's loss, that one act made her play, uh, her made plain her determination to move forward. And should she ever falter, there shall be we shall be there to support her in the road she is resolved to walk. Let us return to the Rising Stones, then. We have quite the story to tell Tatru and her sister. And my sister. Why did we get married? Hmm? You said our sister at first. It's like, when did we get married? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but still. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking our sister, because, you know, words, things, stuff, etc. Things and stuff, Oh, hey, too. it's... It's more credits. Huh. Hey, we don't actually have to go on back. Hey, 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 you want to know something? What? what? You want to know why these credits are so bloody long? Why? Because they put the people's names that ended up becoming legacy supporters into these. Oh, legacy supporters, huh? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell them about that what's later. A, what's, anyway. a, what's a legacy supporter? Alright, you know what, I'll let this run just a little bit. So essentially when, uh... The original Final Fantasy fourteen was about to close, right? Uh -huh. uh, with the whole Dalamud getting closer and then opening and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how long beforehand, I think it might have been like uh, three months or so beforehand, they had a kind of mm -hmm. legacy supporter thing, where you could get a Realm Reborn as a legacy owner. Mm -hmm. Get your name in the credits, get cheaper subscription fees and stuff like that. Oh man, I wish I'd known about that. But anyway, um, and if you manage to beat the final raid, I think it was, then you get, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a special chocobo, I think, and a tattoo in the back, as well as special cutscenes and stuff for Aww. actually starting a character as a legacy. Aww. Crumble. But anyway, um, one of the things that you also got, though, was your name put in the credits. So imagine how many thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of names of our Tiber and you keep wanting to watch it. Uh, sure. I mean, I, I would force you to watch it if I was one of those people, though. Anyway, at least until my name showed up. Skip three, two, one, plop.
Kippins or Creditsons. Because holy crap, that is way too much. I'm sorry, but that is way too much for me to want to go <laughs> through it all. Again. Like, no, I seriously though, like, that is what the credits are filled with. <laughs> ah. Anyway. I may have mentioned, but Alphano has surprised me of all that came to pass in Gridania. The only test now is to rest. This is the calm before the storm. Blood. <clears throat> Lisa has chosen her path, and as her friends, we must do what we can to support that choice. We are fated to join the conflict in any case. Once the Alliance has taken the wall and opened the way to Kirabanya, we will have little choice but to fight. Which is not to say the cause is unworthy. After all, ignorance of the plight of those whom one might conceivably save is not wisdom but indolence, correct? I, for one, look forward to joining hands with the Adamigans and striking a blow against the tyranny of the Empire, as I rather suspect you. You have no idea! You've been wanting to do it forever. Is this, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? It's a cutscene. Is this it? Is this it? <laughs> Quick march! The Imperials will soon come to their senses and we must be ready to face their retribution. Ah. Oh, hi, Roban. When are you going to get a robot arm? <sighs> it is almost time, Father. Aye, almost. Stand firm, Pippin. I learned to brace myself against the charge of the Bull of Alamigo. No foe would dislodge me. Before or after he lost his arm? I mean, it's still charged. The horns are on his shoulder, not his arm. I don't know what you're joking. Explosion. We're finally getting to see the damage, devastation. Hey, your old friend did this. Very well, Eelbird. I will take our homeland back. For the both of us. Oh, don't tell me we're not going to get to see it. <sighs> nope. Do, do, do. Ra, ba, ba, ba. Bored Emperor is bored. Oh, who's this? Someone important. Random scrub? Nameless messenger? So how do you think his life expectancy is? I think pretty bad. Oh yeah. My Lord Viceroy, our scouts have confirmed the preliminary reports. Belsar's wall has fallen to the Eorzean Alliance. The hunt for Omega and the unknown icon continues, though both yet elude us. My lord, the battle caused considerable damage across the region. Should we perchance divert some of our forces from the search to undertake necessary construction work? Uh, sir? I... Forgive me, my lord, I did not attend! You will be done! What? Psychics? I wanna know what... He just stared! Yeah, I think it's like, you'd know already. Unknown. My spies tell me the Dolman's Call at Shinryu, and that the prove, uh, the, that it proved a match for Omega. Yes, the coming days promised me an interesting, most interesting. He's only a Viceroy. You're no Emperor. What? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. At, At the far, far edge, edge of fate, fate, the new road begins. The heroes look to the eastern skies to behold the crimson hue. 
A new dawn of liberation. A gathering of storm of blood. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh, storm blood? Hey, timer! What? That's the quest that takes us to Stormblood. So, do we do it now, or do we do it when we start Stormblood? I think it's probably advisable if we do it when we start Stormblood. Oh, okay. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Alright, cool. So, with that ultra subtle ending, we'll leave it there. So, until next time, all the best, and... Good night, everybody! We're gonna see you in Stormblood. Till then, have fun.